With the release of the new Sete 270, Baratza have demonstrated once again that innovation is built directly into their genes. The Sete feels at once familiar and game-changing. With three time dosing presets and a 10 ounce shutoff hopper, as well as brand new convertible portafilter forks and a newly designed burr drive system that leaves almost no retained grinds behind to get stale. Whether you want to put it to work for espresso or full Chemex batches, the Sete is poised to offer you excellence in grind quality and flavor. Hey folks, it's Steve with Prima Coffee here. Today I've got Baratza's newest grinder. This is the Sete 270. This is a brand new product. It's a departure from their previous design style, but it is an innovative new grinder that's really gonna change the way a lot of people grind at home. There's a lot of really cool new features going on here. So just to kind of give you a general overview, obviously the look is very different for a Baratza grinder. And that's because uh, they've invented a new system for the grind drive mechanism. Basically, they have a conical burr set inside, and instead of spinning the cone burr, the inner burr, like their previous grinders and like so many other grinders on the market, they are now spinning the, or the ring burr around the cone burr. The cone stays fixed in place, the ring spins around it. So they've designed a whole new burr set as well as a new grinding mechanism that allows a very straight, very clear, and uncomplicated path for the beans to fall through the burrs, get ground up, and fall directly into either your grinds bin, your dripper, another container, or even your portafilter. And that means that there is very minimal retention on this grinder. It creates a fluffy uh, and fairly uniform grind product. Um, just overall very exciting sort of uh, take on how coffee should be ground uh, for the home even. Um, so anyway, up top, we've got a 10 ounce shut off, shut off hopper. Uh, very easy to use, there's just a little key on the back that opens or closes the throat of the hopper. So if you're switching coffees regularly or you just need to take it apart for cleaning, really easy to close this guy up, pop the, ho uh, the hopper right off, and you've got about four or five grams of coffee left below in the throat of the hopper, depending on how darkly it's roasted or just how much you had left over. Very easy to pop back into place. Uh, up front, the 270, as opposed to the 270W, which is the sort of sister product to the, the Sete. The 270 grinds by time, the 270W will grind by weight. Um, but the, the 270 here has very similar features to like the Vario. So we have three preset settings for time. We have whole seconds and tenths of a second on the screen. So if I want to change my presets, it's very easy to adjust. I just change my grind time up or down and then hold down the preset button I'd like until the screen flashes and then it's saved in the menu. We also have a play pause and a stop button. So play pause will start and pause your, your grinding. Stop will actually clear it out. So if I have six seconds on the screen here and I hit play and then pause it at three seconds, if I were to hit play again, it would go through that remaining three seconds. If I were to hit stop, it would actually zero it out and get ready for another one. So if you're working on dialing in your doses uh, or you perhaps just figured out you're on the wrong setting, you can change accordingly or continue accordingly. Now, down below we have this brand new 40 millimeter steel conical burr set. And on the dials here, you can see we have 30 macro settings. These are actually stepped, so each one has a distinct sort of click. But below that we have a micro setting uh, adjustment with nine steps, but each of these are actually stepless. And that means that, you know, if you're dialing in for, say, espresso, you now have essentially infinite settings in between each step. So you're able to fully dial in your espresso or, say, an AeroPress brew or even Turkish coffee. Generally, the finer end of things is where that micro adjustment is really going to come in handy. The grind range on this is a little bit more limited than Baratza's previous grinders. Now, the 30 steps here go from about espresso fine at the one or two to probably a coarse sort of Chemex sort of drip range on the 31. That means that it's not going to be the coarsest grind you might want for something like a French press, but that's also not to say that you can't get a good French press brew out of the Sete. If you were to grind on a 31 uh, and do a, your average, you know, 34 ounce or one liter French press brew, you would be just fine. You'd probably want to reduce your overall brewing time by maybe a minute or so. Just play around with it. 
play with your ratios, play with your brew time, adjust your recipe accordingly, and you'll still be able to get a pretty tasty French press brew out of it. But where we find it really excels is right in this drip range and even as espresso. This is one of our favorite espresso grinders that Barazza has made so far. Now to show you a little bit about what's going on inside, I'm gonna remove the burr carrier here. Oops, going the other way. And you can see, this is the cone burr and this is fixed in place. Now, this might spin a little bit around the adjustment dial, but this actually stays stationary during grinding. You can also see there's just no place around here for the grinds to really collect. The retention on the sete is so minimal, it's almost not worth mentioning. Even when you grind really fine for espresso, you only see maybe one or two grams of retention total. If you are single dosing this grinder, you will see less than half a gram of retention across the entire range. It is so remarkable that there's just no place for coffee to collect and it just won't collect. The most retention we've seen so far is two grams grinding at a very, very fine espresso. One thing we found is that you can see these sort of supports in here. When you grind very, very fine, and that means um, actually using a shim to adjust the cone burr and take your grind range even finer, the coffee will cake up a little bit inside of here. You'll still get uh, you know, fresh grind coming out as you actually grind your coffee, but there will be a little bit left over in the burrs and below the burrs. Uh, really only two, three grams uh, at the most. And we found that coffee tasted fine after doing a two gram purge when that happened. During normal use for drip range or coarser, you just have almost no retention worth mentioning. And it's, it's fantastic. You, you almost never see that on an electric grinder. And really on, before the sete, the, the least retention you would see is on a hand grinder, basically like a, some, a, a similar sort of structure where there's just no place for the grinds to collect after they leave the burrs. So, all around we have some really excellent features here. I'm just putting the burr carrier back on, twisting it a little bit and setting it back. Uh, down below, as I said, it comes with an included grinds bin, but we have these convertible forks here. So if I push in on this right fork and then give it a little bit of a twist, I can set these forks down to hang a little bit lower. And then there's also a middle fork here where I push down and rotate it inward. And now I can insert a portafilter. So as I said, this is one of our favorite espresso grinders, partly because you can grind hands free. You can easily set your dose by time, but it also creates a very fluffy, consistent mound of grinds that hardly needs any grooming or redistribution after it's been ground into the portafilter. We have been super satisfied just hitting the button, grinding, maybe tapping to settle a little bit and tamping right away without any, any fussing or anything like that. It's phenomenal. Uh, it's gonna make a lot of home baristas very excited because they don't have to you know, take a toothpick and stir their grinds or anything like that. But if you convert forks back to the sort of wider position, you can also fit a V60, Kalita, any other sort of smallish uh, drip cone right beneath it. A bee house might be a little bit large for it, but some of the smaller Melitas or Melita style cones can fit. Um, the V60 and the Kalita fit swimmingly, and it's perfect so you can grind, you put your filter in here, you can grind directly in, and it works great. So that is the Barazza Sete 270, brand new product from Barazza. Very, very exciting with a ton of innovative new features. Thanks so much for watching.